of the microorganisms that we can't see are affected by the food's acidity. And that is why the amount of acidity in a food is what determines which method of canning you will do. Acidity is determined by the level of acid naturally present in a food or added to the recipe. For example, you will add vinegar or lemon juice. Some recipes will call for the lemon juice, some will call for vinegar, and some will call for citric acid. So, one thing I didn't know when I started canning is the importance of using bottled lemon juice versus fresh lemon juice. And that is because the bottled lemon juice has a consistent amount of acid in it, while the fresh one can vary. And you are, want to ensure that what you are adding is the correct amount of acid for that recipe, so it's safe. So you want to use the bottled lemon juice. That's really important. The combination of acid and the high temperature of the water is what kills the microorganisms and bacteria. So 212 is the temperature at which the molds, the yeast, and some bacteria are destroyed in the high acid foods. There are certain ones that live in the low acid foods that cannot be killed unless they are exposed to a heat of 240 degrees. For this very reason, you cannot can a low acid food in a water bath canner. Just keep that in mind. It must be canned in a pressure canner. Um, when there is a food item, such as a tomato, which is kind of borderline on that level, it's very important to follow the recipe and add the required amount of lemon juice, citric acid, or vinegar called for in the recipe so that it is safely processed in the boiling water canner. I know a lot of us have heard the story of maybe one of our grandmas and they canned a certain vegetable a certain way and since they did it, maybe I can do it too, but I want to let you know that it is so important to follow a recipe and the appropriate method of canning for what you are canning. So if it's a high acid food, you must do water bath canning. If it's a low acid food, you must do pressure canning. It just is how it is. Follow those recipes, do the appropriate method, and you will safely enjoy all of that produce you have canned.